the video is regarding ev batches and pv batches ev batches are the exhibit batches and pv batches are the process validation batches in the pharmaceutical industry and as a pharma professional as a pharmaceutical industry professional we should be known to these topics welcome dear viewers to the video and let's start with some introduction so to get the application approved by the regulatory authority for the commercialization the demonstration of the quality safety efficacy and also the robust manufacturing process is very important and that is done through the exhibit batches and process validation batches in the pharmaceutical industry these are very critical batches to be manufactured and studied for getting the approval for the pharmaceutical product all these type of batches are manufactured before the approval of the product exhibit batches pv batches play a great role in the pharmaceutical product development and these batches are manufactured and studied to ensure the quality safety and efficacy of the product before the product launch in the market the batches serves the purpose of demonstration for the pharmaceutical product that the manufacturer or applicant can manufacture the robust and the product meeting the quality requirements based on these batches the approval is given to the applicant these batches are called as exhibit batches stability batches process validation batches pv batches and sometimes some people refer it as registration batches exhibit batch is also called as submission batch sometimes it is also called as pilot batch and bio batch so definition of ev batch is it is a full or pilot scale batch representing the commercial process that means exhibit batches are taken in the commercial setting with the finalized commercial proposed process so that it can be demonstrated that the process is robust the product meets the quality requirements the purpose of ev batches is that these batches are used for the regulatory submission by equivalence and stability studies also these are used to show the robustness of the process these are required for the anda nda mma submission before pv batches and for the technology transfer for site transfer batches also exhibit batches are taken these are required for the new products novel formulations generic formulations for us europe and other countries exhibit batch is taken into the gmp area the location is r and d pilot plant or production facility under gmp some organizations have specific area to make the exhibit batches or some companies produce these batches in the production facility under the gmp compliance regulatory use is that it is submitted in the ctd module 32p importance is to demonstrate the reproducibility of the process and to support the stability data and be data also these batches serves as a foundation for the commercial production these batches are also called as pivotal batches or these are also called as pilot batches by some of the professionals exhibit batch requirements and references so requirements are minimum 3 batches in the gmp compliant manufacturing area and these are used for the stability be process characterization and to demonstrate the robustness of the product also it is demonstrated through these three batches that the manufacturer can manufacture the quality product consistently regulatory references for this is uh, us fda and da guidance icsq8 r2 guideline who guidelines and ema notices then stability batch overview let's see what is the information regarding stability batch purpose is to establish shelf life and storage conditions label instructions 
and these are conducted under ICS stability conditions for long term intermediate and accelerated storage conditions. Stability batch is required during development, regulatory submission, post approval changes, and annual stability testing and annual stability demonstration. These are taken in R&D pilot area for exhibit batches or production site under the GMP and required for regulatory submissions. Requirements are minimum three batches are taken, two pilot, one commercial size may be there, or two batches as per the requirements and one small scale batch can be there. ICS testing conditions are mainly required for room temperature or long term and accelerated along with this intermediate stability is also performed sampling is done at initial 3 months 6 months 9 months 12 months 18 months and 24 months for different conditions for accelerated it is performed up to 6 months so based on the specific climatic zone these stability is charged the guidelines are there for the reference ICH guidelines are there, FDA guidelines are there, EMA stability guidelines are there, and WHO guidelines are there for the stability batches. Process validation batches, these are also called as PV batches. These are commercial scale batches to prove the process is controlled and reproducible. One thing here I want to note that the PV batches are also called as exhibit batches for some of the products when the commercial batch batch size and the PV batch size or EV batch size is same. For example, if you are manufacturing a batch size of 1,50,000 tablets and the same will be your commercial scale batch, then you can call it as PV batch also. But it depends on the regulatory requirements country specific requirements and the product case by case basis. So we should note whether to call it as PV batch, registration batch, pilot batch or pivotal batch or exhibit batch. All these batches are to be loaded on the stability. That's why you can consider these batches as critical batches before the product launch. The goal of PV batches is to meet the predefined critical quality attributes. These are the CQAs of the product and these are conducted post approval and pre market distribution. Process validation batch is required post approval during technology transfer, major process and scale changes, and also these are required to be manufactured under commercial manufacturing site with full GMP compliance. So these are the PV batches. Sometimes EV batches are also called as PV batches. PV batch requirements and regulatory references. So minimum three consecutive commercial scale batches are required to be taken with complete data on CPP, CQAs, IPCs, final testing should be there, CVA to be generated and provided. These must follow the validated protocol. There are guidelines from the USFDA and ICH, WHO and EMA for the PV batches. So exhibit batch is a regulatory and development foundation batch. Stability batch gives you information about the shelf life and ensures shelf life and the product integrity. PV batch confirms consistent commercial manufacturing and it pro proves that the manufacturing process is robust and consistent. So all these batches are required to be taken with the full GMP compliance and as per the regulatory requirements. So this was the information regarding the exhibit batches, process validation batches in the pharmaceutical industry to be manufactured and uh, the data to be submitted to the regulatory authorities to get the marketing authorization or to get the generic product approval. Sometimes these uh, terminologies are used interchangeably. So whenever you are working on the critical batches before commercialization, you should know these terminologies and you should understand the importance of these batches. Thank you for watching the video and let's meet soon with such kind of informative video. Now you can watch these channel videos in your native languages. The auto dub option is there. You need to go to setting and change the language 
as per your requirement thank you for watching the video